Good morning, Mr. Foreman. You come up to the uh, witness stand to my right and left. Well, before you see the let's get you sworn in. Would you raise your right hand? State your name. It's Chuck West. Colin West. Um, you think G A U L A S S? Yes, sir. Please stand up first, and then the candidate that I invite will have to be sworn in. Tell me your truth. That's all truth. Vice President. Thank you, Colin. Please take your seat. Thank you. Good morning, sir. 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 Good morning
When you observed that vehicle stop at the intersection, did you park your car? I did. What did you do after parking your car? I got out and approached the driver's side of that vehicle. Okay. And what happened when you approached the driver's side of that vehicle? I could see that there were shell casings on the ground around the vehicle. Okay. Uh, how, can you estimate the number of shell casings? Numerous. I mean, I, I didn't count them. There were quite a few. Okay. Um, and did you subsequently look inside the vehicle itself? I did. When you looked inside the vehicle, did you look inside the driver's side door or the passenger? The driver's side door initially, sir. And when you did that, what did you observe? Uh, the driver was slouched over the center console, and when I was trying to make contact with him, wasn't answering anything. Okay. And when you observed him in that condition, did you observe any signs of injury to his person? Not that I remember at that time, sir. Okay. And after observing him on the driver's side, did you go to a different location with regard to the vehicle? I did. Where did you go? I came around to the passenger side of the vehicle. Okay. Why did you do that? I honestly I because I couldn't get the seatbelt off at the time because of the way he was positioned. Okay. So I went to the passenger side. And when you got to the passenger side, what did you do? I tried to make contact with him. I checked for a pulse. How did you check for a pulse? Uh, the carotid ulcer up on the neck. Okay. In order to do that, did you have to open the door? I did open the door, sir, yes. Okay. So when you opened the door, you checked his neck for a pulse? Yes, sir. When you checked his neck for a pulse, did you find a pulse? I did not, sir. What did you do next? I shined my light onto him and uh, saw that it appeared to be a suspended gunshot wound. And where did you observe that gunshot wound? On his face, sir. Okay. And um, show you S14 on the screen as an evidence. I ask you if that accurately depicts the condition of this uh, of the victim's face when you observed it. Is that an accurate depiction of what you observed when you shot the light? Yes, sir. And this area here, is this the gunshot wound you're talking about? Yes, sir. Now, after you observe that injury and by shining your light on it, what do you do, if anything? At that time, there were other officers coming up on the vehicle, and they started to remove them. I told them what I had seen, and they started to remove them from the vehicle to start CPR. Okay. Did they, in fact, start CPR? Yes, sir. After he was removed from the car, what did you do? I went back to my vehicle, immediately got some tape, and began to section off the areas of crime scene. Okay. And what area of the crime scene did you section off? Okay. Mainly the intersection, just a little bit farther back of Inslee and Bush, right there. And after doing that, uh, what did you do? Honestly, I maintained perimeter security for quite some time after that. Okay. Uh, did you mark off any pieces of evidence? I did do that as well, yes, sir. Okay. And you indicated before that you had observed shell casings. Where in relation to the car were those shell casings? It was on the driver's side of the vehicle. And did you mark them off? I, the ones that I could see, I did mark them off. That's correct. And what did you mark them off with? I believe it was actually also. Uh, after marking off the showcase and you indicated you remained on uh, location to maintain a perimeter? That's correct. What do you mean by when you say you maintain a perimeter? Uh, as far as security, obviously it's a hectic situation. People are coming out there, people are upset, other people just want to come down and see what's going on. So just to maintain the integrity of the scene and also the safety of the people that are there trying to investigate it, just maintaining a presence around there to keep people out of the area and section off. At some point, did your supervisors arrive on location? That's correct, yes, sir. After they arrive on location, did they direct you to complete specific tasks or assignments? Yes. Were you given an assignment that night? I was, yes, sir. And what was the assignment that you were given? I was actually directed to go into a rear yard on the road to maintain a uh, security position behind, uh, I believe it was 141 in the road along with another patrolman. Okay, did you maintain that location? Yes, I did. While you're maintaining that location, did anyone enter or exit the rear of that property? Not the rear of that property, no, sir. Were other officers assigned to maintain the perimeter of the front of the property? Uh, I, there were officers at the front of the property as well. Okay. Now, when you were doing that, you obviously observed 141 and 143 Kingsley Road? Correct, sir. How far away from the uh, location of that car was that at? vehicle was parked and there was a house next to the vehicle, it would be one house, two actual structures away. Two structures away? Yeah. Okay, when you were maintaining that perimeter, setting up that perimeter, 
Did you have the ability to observe the driveway of 141 and 143 Kingsley at some point in time? Yes, sir. And during your time on the scene, from the time you arrived, during the entire time you were maintaining the perimeter, did you ever see a 645 BMW parked in the driveway? Not that I recall, sir. You don't recall seeing any vehicle? At this point, we're moving a little quicker than I anticipated. I have a witness ready for this afternoon. 